Thank you so much for being here and watching today's video. How are you guys all doing? I hope you're well and having a lovely one whenever you're watching this. In today's video, following on from my New York everyday outfit video, I thought I'd basically split the videos in two and do a little mini evening outfit in New York and a few birthday kind of looks. So it's my birthday the day before we fly out to New York and there are a few evenings where I wanna get a little bit more glam, go for drinks, get dressed up, go to a rooftop bar and a restaurant and things like that. So I thought I would do a few quite dressy outfits and a few that are a little bit more casual and there'll definitely be more that I potentially wear when I'm out there but I just thought I would do, kind of do like a roundup of the ones that I am currently thinking of wearing and that kind of thing just in case it helps any of you guys that are going out there or if you've got any city breaks and things like that then I feel like a lot of these apply for city break evenings or b-days and that kind of thing. So without further ado let's jump straight into look number one. So outfit number one this is more more of a dress down outfit. I wanted to kind of start with a look that kind of showed you guys kind of how I'll be wearing my tailored trousers for evenings with dunks or my loafers and with like a little black bodysuit and a cropped black blazer. This for me is kind of a dressed up, dressed down evening look, especially when I don't want to wear heels one evening and I want to kind of be like a little bit dressed up in the evening with the tailored pieces like I feel like a cropped blazer for me is like a go-to for evenings currently like any kind of time that I'm struggling for evening fits I always gravitate towards like nice top nice trousers and little cropped blazer combo without a doubt and then the shoes just going for dunks for more of like a casual look just in case we're walking to a dinner and it's a little bit far and things like that I feel like I can't walk that far in my platform heels so <laughs> having trainers like this that I can style with most of the looks I feel like is going to be ideal so just styling these pieces together and I just want to take a moment for this bodysuit it is from Gilly Hicks and Bronte recommended it to me and then when I went in and tried it on I was literally blown away by the shape and fit of this it is literally a dream so flattering on so soft and it has very small kind of like inbuilt pads that aren't like really really like intense what how do I explain it like you know when you get a bra and there's so much padding in it it's kind of uncomfortable like it's like a rock in the bra I feel like this padding is really supportive and flattering still gives your boobs like a really nice kind of lift you don't even need to wear a bra with this but is really soft so it feels comfortable which for me is ideal because I'm all about being comfortable and this little blazer is from Zara but I just loved the shape and fit of this and I feel like for evenings this would be perfect but then I can also wear the pieces for everyday outfits as well and like a few of these pieces anyway like the tailored trousers I'm wearing with some of my day looks too so it kind of works like I'm utilizing the packing situation and making the most out of these pieces for every day and night as well then styling the bodysuit again with these blue jeans and black blazer combo and these little sling heels these are literally my go-to when I'm traveling because they are so small they take up like this much room in my suitcase which is ideal I've had them for a couple of years from office so I will leave similar down below like the most similar I can find but any kind of sandal like this I feel like with jeans a nice top a blazer is just like a classic evening look especially going out for drinks or anything like that where you want to be super comfortable but just kind of going with those neutrals to still feel comfortable. I sometimes find when I am going on a night out and I'm not feeling incredibly confident. I know that's quite bad to say, but there are evenings where I don't always feel like I'm feeling like incredibly confident about what to wear. Then I always kind of gravitate towards blue jeans and neutral pieces. And it's something that I've always done. I always sometimes even just go for a full black look with like a red lip and red bag, which I potentially might do when I'm away, depending on like the pieces and that kind of thing. But this for me is just a classic evening look, even in the UK, no matter where you are, city breaks, things like that, for date night, girls nights, dinners with families, that you feel like you need to be a little bit more dressed up. And of course you can switch out the heels, chuck on your favorite pair of like heel boots or dunks, whatever it is. This is just gonna be my go-to everyday evening look when we're going a little bit more dressed down. And I say dressed down because the other outfits in this video are super, super dressy, which you will see. So there's a reason why this is the dressed down one in this video, even though it's still a little bit dressed up. 
Next up, styling this incredible cropped blazer with this little lace kind of like bodysuit top from Zara and then again the blue jeans and cream heels. So I'm only taking black heels and cream heels on the trip. Oh, and platform heels. Right, I'm taking three pairs of heels for a nine day trip. I don't know who I think I am, <laughs> but these ones again fit really like tightly into my suitcase. So they're ideal to pack. So they haven't actually taken up that much room, but these blue jeans I've styled many different ways for every day in my everyday kind of city break video. And then this blazer I'm also styling for a few of my everyday outfits as well. So this is just one of the ways that I'm gonna, again, make the most of those blazers that I've already packed in my wardrobe and then just easily dress up with this very little little kind of bralette that I feel like adds a really nice detail to the look as well and again doing like a blue jean and neutral outfit combo for date nights which I am loving right now for kind of any evenings no matter where I am. Right here come the dressy outfits. This dress, I personally love this outfit. I feel like this is a very love it or hate it kind of look and I personally I'm a big fan. I love this kind of like feathery ruffled bandeau dresses that are kind of out and about at the moment. And I thought this one was super, super cool, especially being in New York. Like if you can't dress up in New York, when can you dress up really? Because I feel like it's the city that you can just really go full out, which I love about it. I feel like everyone's outfits, I end up walking down the street being like, oh my God, she's cool, he's cool, they look cool that's amazing all the time like, and just overall the fashion out there I just love so I feel like something like this is never too much <laughs> in any kind of city break or even for birthdays I feel like I am going a little bit out there with my birthday outfits which I'm excited about but I thought this was stunning and I like it with the cream heels and the black heels so I've kind of got the option to see how I feel on the night and then just kind of style around those neutral accessories but I think it is gorgeous and a little bit more out there for evening dinners if I've got any like fancy kind of restaurants that we've got booked or rooftop bars and that kind of thing as well. Next up, this blazer dress. This is from SLA The Label and it is stunning. I have to say, I believe and I think this is the birthday dress I'm going to go for. I mean, it's your birthday, you have to wear sparkles, right? Is that the saying? <laughs> Just made up a saying because I love anything sparkly, anything pink. And I feel like this, if I was an outfit, this actually could potentially be me in an outfit, like pink blazer sequins just sums me up for all the things I love so I feel like this for me will be my evening birthday look when we're going to a rooftop bar and getting a little bit more dressed up and that kind of thing and I feel like this is something I can re-wear around New Year's Eve I can re-wear for like special occasions around the festive season when I want to get a bit more dressed up I love going full sequins a lot of the time in festival season so I feel like for me this is a perfect piece that I'll wear for like all those occasions and then I actually also might style when it gets a little bit colder for like girls nights with fake leather cream trousers as well but I feel like this is very very special very very beautiful and perfect for birthdays or special occasions if you're celebrating anything as well next up how cute is this little satin dress styling with a black blazer and little sling heels as well I love this it is so cute and again I think this I have to say is going to be a love it or hate it kind of thing because I feel like it's when Rachel Green wears that little slip in the episode where the parents come home I can't remember the name of the guy that she's dating, but he, they, like they come home and she's obviously in lingerie sitting on the sofa and she's like, oh no, it's an experiment. I'm wearing it for dinner kind of thing. That moment, this could be mistaken for a kind of like evening lingerie, kind of the bedroom attire. However, I like this a lot for date night and girls night. I think it's really cool. I think it looks great with blazers and like oversized slouch coats. And I just think it is so cute. And the back detail is stunning. I don't know if I included the back detail in this clip, but I will leave a picture or like a video on the screen here so you can kind of see, but it is so comfortable on. It's like a really soft satin. So it does need steaming beforehand, but it is just beautiful. And I love this kind of brown tone with black accessories, but then also neutral accessories in the autumn months. So I'm going to be getting a lot of wear out of this in autumn and winter especially with like high knee boots and like a long slouch coat when it gets a little bit colder as well which I'm so excited to do and wear this a lot more in the winter months. Next up this black satin bandeau dress and these platform heels and bag. I actually so I'm gonna include this with the bandeau dress on the screen here and then I also styled it with my blazer and score which I've got packed for like everyday outfits so you can kind of see different ways that I'm styling the look but I just love these platform heels 
heels and this bag combo and I love matching my heels and bags together and I feel like it really kind of brings out those like little black dresses and or like cream dresses or any kind of neutral dresses that you have just getting those classic kind of accessories in that pop of color just to like elevate the looks a little bit further is a really good idea to kind of bring those evening looks to life or even day outfits like a lot of the time if I've got an all neutral outfit in the day I will style with colored accessories just to kind of make the outfit stand out a little bit more which I love doing so this is again one of those outfits that I'm really excited to get dressed up in and I love this satin bodied dress for this I also then style a, another kind of way of styling a little black dress with um, pink heels and a pink bag just to kind of elevate the look a little bit further like this here with these platform heels and bag combo from Zara and I love this dress however I think I'd layer up with a blazer with this one and I'm actually going to be wearing this in Brighton for my birthday evening with family rather than taking it to New York because I couldn't actually fit another pair of heels in my bag. <laughs> I honestly, I, I'm not even, I don't think I'm even going to be able to wear all the clothes that I've packed. I've packed so much. If you've watched my everyday video, there is about 20 outfits in that video. I seriously got carried away, but I love this kind of way of styling looks in the autumn winter months and then slouch coats or fake leather jackets when it's a lot colder, just kind of chucking on and that kind of thing for evenings is one of my go-to ways of styling those evening date night girls nights kind of outfits. But yeah, they are all the outfits for evenings that I am taking. I'm so excited to wear some of these out there and just wear lots of these looks in the autumn winter months. But if you have any questions, then let me know down below. And I just hope you guys are all doing well and having a lovely one. And as always, thank you so much for being here and supporting me and watching my videos. Like it honestly means the world. I am loving this space i'm just loving getting creative and connecting with you guys on like vlogs and videos and things like that so if there is anything you want to see then please just let me know and i will see you guys in the next one lots of love Mwah. bye